Hey, what's going on? I'm Brand America, and thanks for tuning in to another Logic lesson. Today, what we're going to do is quickly convert the Logic drummer track over into MIDI so that we can tweak it and even put it on different plugins to try out and see how those sounds actually are. So if you're not familiar with it, down here, what you can do is you have different presets, and you'll notice it changes what the uh, yellow region up here looks like. And, uh, you know, it, it, will, it will change up the field, change up the hi-hats and toms, different things. So once you find something that you really like, let's give a quick example. This is what this one's sounding like right here on half pipe. Okay. And real quick, too, if you're not familiar in how to bring one of these or how to use one, you can just go up to track and go to new drummer track. Boom. And then instantly it's going to pop it in there. And so for now, we can get rid of that one. But in order to convert this over to MIDI, all we have to do is select the region here, right click and select this feature right here that says convert MIDI to, I'm sorry, convert drummer to MIDI region. Boom, just like that. And there's our MIDI down here. Same thing right here. This is a completely different one. The other sample was half pipe. This one is Echo Park. So we just select it, right click and choose convert drummer to MIDI region. Boom, that easy. So now if you'll notice, we select both of these regions. Now we've got two co completely different uh, drum patterns, and let's take a listen. Okay, you notice, you can instantly see right here that it's going to be a different pattern. But now let's say in this first region over here, we want to add some more kick in there. We want it to have a little more drive in the beginning. So let's put that some right there and let's put um let's put some right here. You know, why not, right? Let's check that out. Boom. Okay. So maybe that was the right feel for your song. Um, and if it wasn't, you can go in there and tweak it. That's the great thing about converting this thing over to MIDI. Now you can actually take this MIDI though, and if you have other drummer plugins, for instance, right here. I have the Native Instruments Studio Drummer. And now what I can do is just take this MIDI data and drag it down. And now I'm going to get a completely different drum kit, which is going to sound different and hopefully fit the project that I'm working on even better. Let's take a quick listen. Boom. Hopefully you guys could hear the difference. Let's put it back up real quick and take another quick listen. All right, there it is, you know. So real quick, real simple. Uh, this is just a, you know, pro level tip that I want to share with you guys so that you can take your projects and your music to the next level. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button. And feel free to drop a comment down below. And anything that you want to learn, I would love to create a video for you and, uh, you know, put it out there. Big shout out to Paul, you know, for uh, hitting me up recently and telling me he liked the, the Logic Lesson videos. So thanks a lot for that. And uh, I'm going to be putting out a lot more of these. So stay tuned. And until next time, it's your boy, Brandon America. Peace and love.